So this is now Sunday morning at the IBC show and I'm heading to the Qpilot booth. They have an awesome live automation system which are so fascinating to see in production. And I want you to see what that's all about. They have one of the Skyway panels also so you can operate it through our technology. Hi, my name is Peter Zagarajsen. I'm the founder of Qpilot. So Qpilot is, um, if you're doing a, a high-end live show, and you want to plan uh, a stage performance and you have multiple cameras and uh, you don't have you're not able to do any post production it's live to air or live to tape then you need some tools to prepare this act and back in the old days or some people are still doing it they're writing all the shots on a piece of paper and then during the live show they're calling the shots um, so my background is I'm a director so when I, I wanted uh, so I, when I went directing these big live shows I couldn't work on paper it was completely impossible for me so that's why I created Qpilot so it's basically a timeline tool so you prepare the act on a timeline just with like an Avid or Final Cut and then during the live show uh, Qpilot is switching to the switcher and communicating to the camera operators uh, which uh, uh, which shot they're supposed to do and so on so right now we have been using it for many years and this is from uh, the Eurovision Song Contest uh, this year, the song from uh, Cyprus, um, and it's it's completely uh, produced and directed with Qpilot, and and especially this song would be impossible to do without Qpilot because it's really tight and uh, there's a lot of shots on it. And um, so right now we're working with uh, Skarhai on the, on our next generation of uh, Qpilot, the Qpilot server, and this is a very early prototype uh, of the panel which I, I'm really looking forward to work with. Because today now we're using a classic keyboard, uh, which is fine, but uh, this is more pro. We, uh, if you, for instance, running a, a sequence and, and you can see the camera operator is not ready, you can just press hold and it won't cut to this camera until you release the button again and then it will cut to this camera. So we have a lot of features uh, putting into uh, this panel and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And then Skara has done a, a great job to work together and to in, improve this panel. And this is just the early version, and I believe we're going to have uh, multiple versions of, uh, of this panel. So I'm really looking forward to, to work with you, Casper. Yeah, you're welcome. Now, Pierre, um, I wanted to know what the iPad is about. So the iPad is for a camera. So we, we, mount, we are mounting this iPad next to the camera operator's viewfinder. Um, so in this case, um, uh, the, the song, song is running, so the upper part of, uh, of the um, iPad, you can see all the current shots. So camera 2 is on now, camera 3 is on, and now uh, camera 3 is on again. And, and on this view, you can see, if I'm camera 2, I can see my own shot coming up. So now camera 2, uh, I'm on, so that's why it becomes red. I have 7 seconds until my next shot is on. 5, 3, or 3, 2, 1, and now I'm on and two seconds and now I'm off again. So this is a really important tool for all the camera operators. So they're using, each camera has their own iPad that they can see their own, own shots. Fantastic. Yes. Thank you, Pierre, for demonstrating. You're welcome. I have seen your system in operation and it was so fascinating. It really looked so awesome, so well integrated and everybody looked to be super happy and they, they knew exactly what to do and yeah, and an indispensable tool. Cool. Thank you, Thanks. thank you.